Well, let's talk a little bit more uh, about President Donald Trump's uh, potential, again, nomination. Uh, Republican Congresswoman Nancy Mace made waves for being one of the eight Republicans who voted to oust Kevin McCarthy as Speaker of the House. But now she's open to the idea of being former President Trump's running mate. Again, he is the front runner for the GOP party. Mace, when asked in an interview about reportedly being on the shortlist, responded that while he has not yet called her, she says, quote, I think it's intriguing. It's interesting. And I want to see Republicans put women on the ticket. Vice president, presidential. I want little girls everywhere to know that they, too, can be president one day. Well, don't we all? White House columnist for The Hill, Niall Stanage. Yo, Niall. This is, the, this is the same woman who just weeks ago was getting called out for wearing a scarlet letter on her T-shirt. She was, indeed, for her vote against Kevin McCarthy, who had been previously quite a loyal supporter of hers. She then joined the eight Republicans who voted to oust McCarthy as Speaker. That caused something of a kerfuffle in the Republican conference. And her scarlet letter T-shirt was a reference, and there it is, in fact. That T-shirt was a reference to the idea that she was being ostracized in her mind for the stand that she took. But, I mean, there is a dynamic here that I need you to help break down a bit. Just last year, former President Trump called her a rhino, a.k.a. Republican in name only. Mace, as of late, has been a strong defender of Mr. Trump. What exactly changed? I think what changed was the number of legal challenges he faces. Those two have quite a checkered political history. There's been a lot of zig and zagging going on. In 2016, Nancy Mace worked for the Trump campaign as a field organizer. Then after January the 6th, she said that had destroyed his legacy. He, in return, backed a primary challenger to her who lost. But it's really since we've seen the four indictments of the former president that Nancy Mace has put herself forward very much so as a defender of him in interviews and to the media. And that seems to have enabled her to get back into his good graces, at least to some degree. Well, at least there's some talk about that. But that's what they're saying on the street, on the streets of Capitol Hill. Uh, it sounds to me like the soundbite, this comment that she made about women being on the ticket, that's more of maybe a broad understanding of how it's a, a, a matter of history, right, rather than potentially being Mr. Trump's running mate. Or does this actually show that she has a lot more juice since ousting McCarthy? I think the, the re reference to women is partly about the history that you mentioned and also about the idea that she could actually help a Republican ticket headed by the former president perhaps win suburban women. Now, in terms of the juice that she has, she is clearly one of the more prominent members of Congress. I think, honestly, that is the cause of some of the resentment from her colleagues. She was only elected in 2020. Now she's on The Daily Show. Uh, she's certainly... To her credit, I think no shrinking violet. She has got involved in various high profile uh, issues over her brief time in Congress. And I think that's why she is being uh, talked up in this way. Well, I I've interviewed her myself right here on Morning in America and News Nation. Uh, Niall, quickly, in terms of Nikki Haley's standing, I mean, when you think about Nancy Mace, Nikki Haley, who has a better chance of being the VP for Donald Trump? Uh, if Donald Trump's the nominee, I think Nancy Mace does, partly because Nikki Haley has become increasingly vigorous in her criticisms of the former president. And Nikki Haley makes the valid point that women are often asked, are they really running for vice president in a way that is not typically asked of male candidates? Interesting. Well, there haven't been quite as many women. These are trailblazers. Pioneering women can't take anything away from them. But anybody who has less than 15 percent of the popular vote might be asked if they're going to run as VP. Just saying. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.